Is it worth upgrading from the Sony Xperia C Premium to the XC2? Let's go and find out. Now the Premium actually does have some advantages over two despite being one year older. Although overall I expect the uh, I do expect the XC2 to do pretty well during this test with the Snapdragon 45 versus 835. And also you have additional two gigabytes of RAM at six versus four. And the two about one second fast of booting up there. All right guys, so next up we have the specs. The XC2 has a larger bezel screen display at 5.7 inches versus 5.5. Although the XC Premium has a 4K display versus 1080p. On the front, the Premium has a 13 megapixel camera. And on the two, it's five. And on the back, the cameras are both 19MP with updated software on the two. Both phones are 64 GB internal storage and micro SD card support. The XC Premium has a slightly larger battery at 3230 versus 3180. Now if the two you're upgrading from the Snapdragon 35 to the 845 and from 4GB of RAM to 6. Both phones are waterproof. Both phones have USB Type-C at the bottom. And on the XCP you do have a headphone jack, you do not on the two. And look at the back, so pretty beautiful actually. <laughs> Let me wipe down this uh, premium. So, pretty beautiful glass signs on both. And you do a wireless charge on the two, you do not on the premium. And the fingerprint scanner two is located right here. While on the premium, it's right here on the side. Both phones are on the Android Oreo, and the two is brand new. And now for the rest of the test. Alright guys, so everything's closed out on both, and let's zoom in a bit there. So next up we have apps and games opening, and first is NBC. Advantage, uh, Advantage for the two, Spotify. Advantage for the premium, YouTube. Two, eBay. Two, Amazon, Premium, Quack, and yeah guys, we did add some new ones here to test out the multitasking more in depth. So, most of the Xperia apps here, Photos, Two, Movies, and a tube about a millisecond there, Sketch, And settings. All right, guys. Now we're really gonna test out the Snapdragon 45 versus 835. And not surprising, but it looks like the two by about a second here. All right, a few more, and then a lot more stuff after that. So we have Subway Surfers, two, Super Mario Run, and keep in mind guys, the premium was definitely one of the fastest phones of last year. Once again, the two there, Ash 40. So yeah, definitely excellent performance here by the two, but the premium really not that far behind here. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, the uh, I think you've probably seen other videos, but it's really easy for this phone to spin on the table. So we do have the Intuitive score here, and this higher on the two as expected. But uh, yeah, I guess it is a pretty significant difference there. Bay Breeze, no copyright. And speaker comparison next. Now both these phones have stereo speakers which are supposed to be improved on too. And first we have the premium. And 
and the toe. And back to premium. And so. And my time here. So yeah, I definitely think an upgrade here from the 2 to the Premium. So the 2 is definitely louder and also has a bit more of a punch to it. Let me know in the comment section below which one you all prefer. And next we have Chrome. Quite not the web history here. And Gadget.com. And Advantage for the 2. Yahoo.com Once again we have the two here Sony.com uh, I think that was advantage for the two And let's do one final one Nintendo.com So, pretty excellent job here by the toe. And next we have the fingerprint. Once again on the P it's right here. And on the 2 it's right here on the back. So, overall pretty close. Now guys, I do prefer the placement on the P being right here on the side, on the Premium. And I'm not a big fan of the placement on the 2, although I will say this is more accurate than the Premium. Uh, I think because the surface is a bit bigger than the Premium one. Alright guys, Motas is next, and let's see if that 6 bytes RAM versus 4 makes a difference here. So, NBC, pretty close. Spotify, 2, YouTube. Oh, surprising, this one retaining on the premium but not on the toe. eBay. Excellent. Amazon. Once again, excellent job there. Quack. And this one going to the toe. Photo is also going to the two as well. And once again the two there, so you guys can really see the advantage here of six versus four. But sketch is pretty close. I think that was two. Temper on two, so yeah, excellent job on both retaining the memory. Subway Surfers, once again, excellent job there. Mario Run, excellent. Asphalt 8. So, a narrow edge here for the two, but not a big difference. 
and Tudu and Chrome. So you guys narrow it for multitasking for the two, but not a huge difference there. And up camera speed. All right guys, so I'd say about the same here. And now we have tested the front facing cameras and I think it is a bit of a downgrade on the XC2. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think. And test out the image stabilization. And now we have tested the front facing cameras and I think it is a bit of a downgrade on the XC2. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think. And test out the image stabilization. And here's a look at the rear cameras. Test out the stabilization. And I've looked at the maximum zoom. So should you upgrade from the Sony Xperia XE Premium to the 2? And for most people I would have to say no. Now I do think that the 2 is a better phone than the premium, but it's really not a huge difference here in terms of speed, the cameras, the speakers, and all that stuff. And of course the XCP does have some advantages like the headphone jack. So guys, let me know in the comment section below if you plan on getting it. But I would say wait for the Sony Xperia X2 Premium to be announced because it should be pretty soon. Alright guys, thanks again for watching, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video.